Okay, in the last lecture, uh, we have discussed some of the AC applications of operational amplifiers, but mostly uh, the linear applications. Okay. So, in addition to linear applications, op amp can also be used for non-linear applications also. So, this non-linear applications uses in addition to op amp some diodes or transistors also. So, the first uh, the non-linear application of this operational amplifier is precision rectifier. So, you might have studied this uh, conventional rectifier. So, you might have studied this conventional rectifier in your uh, second year. So, if we take the conventional rectifier, we have a single diode, this is input with respect to ground, this is output with respect to ground. If I assume that the cutting voltage or knee voltage of this diode is V gamma this V gamma is equal to 0.7 volt for silicon and 0.3 volts for germanium. So, what will be the operation of this uh, conventional amplifier and what are the its uh, limitations why you have to go for the precision rectifier. If see here if input voltage V in is less than or equal to the cutting voltage or uh, knee voltage V gamma. So, what happens to diode? diode will be off and the output voltage is V naught is equal to 0. If input voltage is greater than V gamma, then diode is on. So, output voltage if I take the uh, practical case, if this is V gamma is the voltage across this one this is plus minus output voltage is this, then what will be this uh, KVL, this is minus 2 plus VI, whereas this V gamma is plus 2 minus, so minus V gamma and V naught also plus 2 minus, minus V naught is equal to 0 implies V naught is equal to VI minus V gamma. If I neglect this V gamma, in case of ideal diode, output is equal to input, the ideal case. So, if you take the input and output waveforms of this diode, if this is the input, output will be up to V gamma, output is 0. So, up to here this is 0, here output is equal to input if I assume the ideal diode, again negative half cycle it is 0. So, negative it will be reverse bias even if it is V is less than 0 then diode is off and output V is 0 equal to 0. So, here also 0 again when the input is positive greater than V gamma output is input and so on. So, this type of output waveform will get if input is this. So, the drawback of this conventional rectifier is so, this conventional rectifier cannot rectify the signals which is of the order of millivolts or microvolts. So, the minimum voltage that can be uh, rectified by this conventional rectifier is 0.7 volts for silicon and 0.3 volts for germanium. The voltages below this it cannot rectify. 
this is the main drawback of conventional rectifier. So, to avoid this limitation, we will use a precision rectifier. Instead of using just simple diode, we will use diode along with the operational amplifier. So, the circuit diagram of the precision rectifier is we have operational amplifier. Here the input VA is applied. Here diode in feedback path. Here load resistance. Across the load, we will take the output V0 with respect to ground. This VI with respect to ground. Let us call this intermediate output as some V0 dash. The final output is V0. Okay. Now, if you see the operation of this uh, precision rectifier, let the open loop gain of this amplifier is this is 2 into 10 to the power of 5 in case of 741 IC. Let us assume this is simply 10 to the power of 5 gain open loop. Then what happens is if VI is less than or equal to V gamma V gamma by AOL, then what happens? What is V0 dash? V0 dash is equal to VI into AOL. This input voltage into this open loop gain will be the VO dash. If input VI is less than V gamma by AOL, that implies V0 dash is less than or equal to this AOL, this AOL get cancelled V gamma. So, implies what happens to the diode? Diode is off. So, it will access a open circuit. And what will be the equivalent circuit now? This diode is open circuited and there is a connection from output to input and this is load resistance, this is output V0. So, this will act in open loop configuration. So, this current is 0 means this current is 0. So, current is 0 through the RL means output is 0. On the other hand, if uh, VI is greater than V gamma by AOL, then what happens to this uh, V0 dash? is greater than V gamma implies diode on. So, it will act at short circuit if I assume the ideal diode, you know what will be the equivalent circuit. This is short circuit. The load resistance this is the output voltage V naught. This is nothing but voltage follower which we have discussed in the last lecture. So, output V naught is equal to V i. So, in summary if V i is less than or equal to V gamma by AOL output V naught is equal to 0 if V i is greater than V gamma by AOL output V naught is equal to V i. This is basically rectification operation. If we take the waveforms, if this is input waveform. V i 
and output wave from V naught will be. So, this uh, V naught by AOL is almost negligible because AOL is 10 to the power of 5 say and V gamma let us assume that this is a silicon diode 0.7 volt. So, in place what is AOL by V gamma by AOL? is equal to 0.7 by 10 to the power of 5 this is equal to 7 micro volts it is very very less. So, your this pressure rectifier will be capable of rectifying even uh, weak signals of the order of micro volts also. So, here this output if V i is less than V gamma by A O L output is 0 if it is greater than V gamma by A O L output is input. So, this output will be almost same as the input of course, this will start it this is of course, 7 micro volts it is almost negligible this is same as the input and then for V naught greater than this is same as V i and for negative half cycle what happens? if V i is negative so this output V 0 dash also negative if increasing this uh, V i in the negative direction V naught 0 also increases in the negative direction finally, it will saturate it minus V C C because the open loop gain is 10 to the power of 5 if this V i is of the order of say for example, uh, 0 0.12 milli volts then what will be the output V 0 dash V 0 dash is equal to A O L times V i that is equal to this minus of this this is minus in negative direction. So, this will be 10 to the power of 5 times means this is 12 volts minus 0.12 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 to the power of 5 this is equal to 12 into 10 to the power of minus 5 plus 5 which get cancelled. So, you will get 12 volts any voltage above this 0.12 volts output will saturate if I assume that VCC of this operational amplifier is plus 12 volts plus VCC is 12 volts minus VCC. So, if I increase this V i in the negative direction output is going to saturate this is one of the drawback of uh, this type of circuit and output will be this output V naught this is about this uh, V is not dash will saturate V naught dash will saturate, but what about V naught? for V i less negative is V i is V naught is 0 since this will access the open circuit this is negative value negative value is applied to the anode. So, this will access open circuit. So, for negative half cycle this will be 0 for positive half cycle again it is same as input negative half cycle 0 and so on this is of course, this is 7 micro volts is there that is almost negligible. So, we will get this is also half wave rectification So, in this case with uh, V i is less than V 0 by A O L this is open loop configuration where this is closed loop configuration So, this operational amplifier this entire circuit switches between the open loop configuration to closed loop configuration that is why you have to use this operational amplifier which will have high speed. So, normally you will use my micro child mu a 318 is the operational amplifier which is high speed. So, uh, one of the drawback of this circuit is as I have told if uh, V i increases in the negative direction then V naught dash this V naught dash will saturate of course, V naught is 0, but V naught dash is saturates to the negative value. So, because of that uh, it will take a more response time 
to reduce this uh, response time instead of using single diode you can use two diodes to perform the half wave rectification. So, a better circuit for half wave rectifier is as follows. This is just two diodes. This is the circuit diagram of another half wave rectifier, but this will be having more response time, less response time when compared with the previous circuit, thereby this will be having this process the high frequency signals. So, the operation is here again if V i is positive, that is V i is greater than 0. So, we have two diodes D1 and D2. Now, V i is at the inverting terminal. So, the voltage here V naught dash. This V naught dash will be if V i is greater than 0, this is negative. And this voltage is this V i is positive. So, the voltage to this diode D1 anode is a positive value which is V i minus a voltage drop of voltage drop across this R1. So, this is positive voltage and this is negative voltage. So, this D1 will be on and for this diode D2, this anode voltage is negative whereas the cathode voltage is positive. This V i is, this V i is here, here and there will be voltage drop across this R1 and R f, the remaining voltage will be appeared across this point. So, this will be connected to the cathode of this diode D2. So, implies D2 is off. So, what will be the equivalent circuit now? Now, we have this minus this is R1. So, D1 is on means this is short circuit. And this will be open circuited. This is the load resistance, this is the output voltage V naught. Here what happens is this because of this short circuit, the current that is coming from here, this is I, here no current, the entire current flows through the short circuit because resistance is 0 to the current. So, this part will be RF part will be removed. So, here there is no current, I is equal to 0. It is almost acts as a open circuit. So, this current will flow through this one. So, output V naught is equal to 0. This you can even remove also because there is no current in this path, you can remove this. So, output is 0. If V i is negative, that is V i less than 0. Then what happens? This V i is less than 0. So, negative this point is negative, this point V 0 dash will be positive because this is inverting amplifier. So, here this is positive, this is negative. So, what happens to diode D 1? D1 will be off because negative voltage is to anode and uh, positive voltage to cathode. Whereas, for uh, D to this is also negative voltage, this is positive voltage, for anode positive and cathode negative, so D 2 will be on. Now, what will be the equivalent circuit? So, 
so d1 will be open circuited this will be and d2 will be short circuited this is basically a inverting amplifier whose output is given by minus rf by r1 times vi if we choose rf is equal to r1 implies output v0 is equal to vi okay. so for positive half cycle output is 0 for negative half cycle output is equal to input okay. now here because this output v0 dash will not saturate because of that so the response time of this one is more and can process high frequency signals this is the advantage of this circuit and if you take the input output waveforms this is input the output uh, v naught will be for positive half cycle this positive half cycle v naught is 0 this v naught is 0 for positive half cycle for negative half cycle v naught is equal to minus vi so this is already negative and output is equal to minus vi so this becomes positive minus of minus becomes positive and whereas for negative 0 and again here positive and so on here d1 is on d2 off yes here d1 off d2 on so this is also a half wave rectifier but this is a this uh, circuit performs better than the previous circuit because here the response time is less because the output v0 dash will not uh, saturate and as a result of that this will process the high frequency signals okay. we can also implement the uh, full wave rectifier using diode full wave precision rectifier So the circuit diagram of this one is this also uses only two diodes this is one diode this is another diode this totally uses uh, 5 resistors and 2 operational amplifiers this is the final output V0 this is input vi let us assume that all the resistors are having equal value r r r this is operational amplifier a1 operational amplifier a2 now we can analyze the operation of this full wave rectifier also in similar to half wave rectifier first we will consider vi positive half cycle that is vi is greater than 0 now what happens to diodes d1 and d2 this is positive so this is positive there will be some drop across these two resistors 
Whereas this is inverting uh, amplifier, this is negative. Whereas this is again, this is positive, this is also positive. So you can see that for diode D1, anode is positive, cathode is negative. So forward biased, therefore D1 is on. Whereas for D2, it is reverse. Anode is connected to negative, cathode is connected to positive, so it is off. So now what will be the equivalent circuit? D2 is open circuited, D1 is short circuit, assuming the ideal diode. This is short circuited, this is D1. And D2 is open circuited. So this part, so this part, this, there is no open circuit this here. So you can connect this to the positive terminal of this. This is also ground potential. This is zero, 0 volts. This is also 0 volts means this is virtual ground. So here this path is open circuited. So this positive terminal will be connected to this positive terminal of will be connected to this resistor to the ground. And here we have one more resistor. This is connected to negative terminal of op amp and positive terminal is connected to resistance to ground. This is another resistance R. This is V0. This is called as V0 dash. This is R, 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 VI. This is the equivalent circuit during the first half cycle or positive half cycle of VI. So what is V0 dash? Basically this is inverting amplifier. whose gain is minus r by r minus 1. So what is v0 dash is equal to minus vi. And of course minus r by r, this r is r, this r, so r by r becomes 1. Now coming for this circuit, this is also another inverting amplifier. Here this resistance can be neglected because the current is 0 here, so the voltage across this resistor is also 0. So you can neglect this. Normally this resistor will be in practical purposes used for compensating the offset voltages, offset uh, currents. Okay, that we will discuss later we will discussing about the practical op amp uh, characteristics. So this you can neglect. If you neglect this, this is again an inverting amplifier whose gain is output V0 is equal to V0 dash is the input into gain is minus R by R. But what is V0 dash minus Vi? this is another minus. So, minus of minus becomes plus. So, simply V0 is equal to Vi during the positive half cycle. Now, what happens during negative half cycle? I will draw on this diagram itself during negative half cycle. that is Vi is negative. So, this will be negative now. So, this is also negative. This will be negative. Whereas, this one will be positive. Because this is inverting amplifier, output V0 dash will be positive. So, for diode D1, anode is connected to negative, cathode is connected to positive. So, of for diode D2, anode is connected to positive, cathode is connected to negative uh, on. So, it implies D1 off and D2 on. For ideal diode, D1 will act as open circuit, D2 will act as short circuit. So, the equivalent circuit will be now, this will be open circuited. So, this will not be there, this will be short circuited. This is the equivalent circuit of this uh, fully wave rectifier for Vi less than 0 that is during negative half cycle. So, you can simplify this circuit, this circuit can be simplified. So, you can write this circuit in the simplified manner as this is R, 
this is R and this is also another R is there now this will be connected to this point this is grounded V I R this R plus R becomes 2 R here you can see that this is R plus R becomes 2 R that will go to the negative terminal of the second op amp here there is no path so these two becomes r plus r 2 r this is 2 r and here this part will not be there so this will be connected with positive terminal of second operational amplifier and negative terminal is connected to this point and here there is another resistance R this is V0 dash now this V0 dash if I assume that this is V0 dash this current will be this V0 dash divided by this R because no current flows through this and this current will be no current flows through this one this is this is also V0 dash now because voltage at inverting terminal this is short circuited so this is this voltage and this voltage will be same so this is V0 dash so this is V0 dash between this point and this ground so this current will be V0 dash by 2R and this current will be VI by R so at this junction you can take these two are short circuited three currents are entering one is VA by R entering through this this is V0 dash by R this is V0 dash by 2R so at this point what is KCL is VI by R plus V0 dash by R plus V0 dash by 2R is it clear because this is at V0 dash voltage and this point is V0 dash because the voltage at inverting and non-inverting terminals are same so this is V0 dash and this is ground 0 this is 0 volts means this is 0 volts ok so in this loop is this is positive to negative so this current direction is this one so V0 dash by 2R coming for this this is ground 0 volts so the current direction is this VI minus 0 volts by R whereas for this this is 0 volt this is ground whereas this point is V0 dash so the current direction is V0 dash by R this is equal to 0 so if we take uh, 2R as LCM here this is equal to uh, twice VI plus V0 twice V0 dash plus V0 dash is equal to 0 implies 3 times V0 dash 2 times VI is equal to 0 implies V0 dash is equal to minus 2 by 3 times VI now coming for this circuit this is a non-inverting amplifier this is minus plus is minus plus in the previous circuit it was minus plus this is minus plus so this is inverting amplifier which inverts this voltage this is nothing but v0 dash it what is the gain of this one what is v0 is equal to v0 dash into gain will be 1 plus this feedback resistance divided by total resistance r by 2r therefore V0 is equal to what is V0 dash you can substitute this V0 dash here minus 2 by 3 VI into 1 plus R by 2R 
RR get cancelled. So this is equal to 3 by 2. This is equal to 2 by 3 implies V naught is equal to minus VA. This is during negative half cycle. During positive half cycle, V naught is equal to VI. During negative half cycle, V naught is equal to minus VI. Okay. So you will get now if this is input. Output will be for positive half cycle same as the input. For negative half cycle minus of this. So this minus means minus minus becomes plus. So for positive also positive, for negative also positive. This is fully over rectifier. This is the output, this is the input. This is about the precision fully over rectifier. So, we have uh, some other nonlinear applications uh, such as clipper, clamper, logarithmic, anti-logarithmic amplifier that we will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you.